Okay, we want to simplify this expression. 72 subtract 68 over 5. You're going to see a lot of expressions that look like this in statistics. And they're really pretty easy as long as you remember that you want to uh, separate the numerator from the denominator with the fraction bar. That's what the fraction bar does, is separates the numerator and denominator. So you work on them separately. So you say 72 minus 68 is going to be 4 divided by 5. So the answer is 4 fifths, or if you wanted to write it as a decimal, 0 0.8. So a problem like this is not too difficult to do. People aren't usually going to make a mistake on it. But look at this problem right here. I see a lot of students that aren't thinking about it too carefully, and they'll divide the 5 into the 10. It goes twice, and they'll say, well, 2 then subtract 8 is going to be negative 6. But that can't be right, because 10 subtract 8 is 2, divided by 5 is 2 fifths, which we could write as 0.4 as a decimal. So that's the correct answer. You can never divide out like this, because this 10 is not a factor of the numerator. You can only divide out factors that are common to the numerator and denominator. So that right there is a mistake, and you want to make sure that you don't do that. But we're going to practice enough problems that you'll have so much practice with these kind of things, you're not going to make this mistake. So when you get to statistics, it's going to be very easy for you.